Hi friends, I'm Mansur Siddiqui, SQL Server DBA. Today we are going to discuss about uh, Activity Monitor in SQL Server Management Studio. Actually, Activity Monitor is a monitoring tool uh, which comes inbuilt with uh, SQL Server Management Studio. This monitoring tool uh, shows real-time information about processes, resource weights, data file I.O., recent expensive queries, etc. Earlier, uh, this uh, option was available uh, in SQL Server 2000 at different place and in SQL Server 2005 at dif a different place. Now we'll see in SQL Server 2012, uh, this uh, activity monitor is available under uh, Object Explorer main node. Uh, right click on instance, okay, instance name, and you will find activity monitor. Once you'll click activity monitor, it will come to this window activity monitor will open where you can see overview processes resource weights data file io and recent expensive queries are available these are the categories so when you click overview you'll find in overview percentage processor time or whatever uh, current processor time is there you'll be able to see it then uh, waiting tasks then your database io and batch request per second details are available when you'll click processes you'll see all the running processes okay now this is session ID then your login details then your database and it's your command select whatever uh, command is running right now you'll be able to see in processes and suppose uh, if any blocking is there you will see blocking details also here blocked by your SP ID and uh, you can uh, right click on it and you can check the details you have right click details skill process and uh, trace process in SQL Server profiler so uh, if something is if, if you're uh, monitoring any block uh, blocking here deadlock you can right click and kill the process okay and uh, you can also uh, trace this in uh, SQL Server profiler so in resource weights you have weight category wait time recent wait time average waiter uh, count and uh, cumulative wait time details so it is like a group divided into backup buffer io buffer a latch compilation latch lock etc all these details so for example uh, this is backup so i'll run one uh, database backup job and we'll uh, monitor uh, the wait time and uh, recent wait time details okay this is completed now you can see the backup wait time has changed wait time 101 then recent wait time 60 all these details are available in real time basis now in data file io you have a database name your file name mb uh, per second read and your uh, mb uh, per second written and all this response time all the details are available in the data file io so for example if you if any uh, job is running so i'll execute the start job backup job so you'll see in data file io this 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 is currently backing up inventory database so you'll see uh, data file io details okay you'll be able to see all these details in data file io now in recent expensive queries all the queries which are uh, recently uh, most expensive queries are available in this list okay you have query details you have cpu details you have a uh, physical uh, rate per second and you have logical uh, writes per second and other details are available so uh, what you can do you can right click on it okay on query and you have edit query text details in a, in actually new query editor window it will give you query then you have show execution plan when you click it you'll get execution plan details of particular query and then these queries are all a real-time basis
so basically this is the introduction of activity monitor if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel on youtube or uh, you can visit to my website sqlserverlog.com and you can subscribe to newsletter or sign up to facebook you can join me on facebook or you can uh, subscribe to my youtube channel if you have any query you can send to me thank you